Hey everybody, it's Miss Ashley here with my son, Jolly. Jolly, can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> we are going to be working on my 10 frame set that I have here. You can find it at Playpen African. And, with and, the... and, and you can do any you want. It's the numbers you have to choose. You can choose the numbers that you do. Yes, so you can find this on my site at playpenafricanwithak.org. Someone asked for a tutorial on how to use it. Um, and I like write-ups, but I think sometimes, you know, with people being so busy, um, doing a video is a lot easier. So you can listen to it and watch it if you want. So what this comes with is the board. It's made of wood. The wood is really nice. Then you will get your 10 sticks right here. So you'll get nine of them, actually. And then you'll get 10 ones pieces and then you'll get an assortment of numbers here and then an addition and subtraction one we actually don't have the subtraction one yeah, right now um, yes for subtraction so how do you use this thing i say you can start as early as you'd like as long as you know if they're putting things in their mouths then you definitely it, don't want to use the little ones it's, but if you put the numbers together you have to choose what was the numbers you had to you had to find out what number you had to find. Mm-hmm. If you we have to find the number that you want to find. So to start, no matter the age level, I usually if we're introducing a new toy, before I even start with telling them what to do, I usually just let them play. So this is his time to play. So you can kind of see, I'll give him a few um seconds to just kind of mess around with it even though he loves this toy he's used this a bajillion times but you can see what he does with it what did you do ja uh, what numbers did you pick do you want to show mm -hmm. what numbers well remember they can't see so you have to turn it outwards what number did you pick eight mm-hmm and seven mm-hmm Can you say it louder? Six, five, four, and three, and two, and one. So you don't even have to use all of the pieces at once. If they're younger, they can start with just identifying the blocks and stacking them and building them in all sorts of cool ways. I'm very much on, um, I, I love toys that you can use that have multiple uses for it. So a lot of times, especially when we're doing math, if we're using blocks, I'll just let them play with it first and identify numbers and that sort of thing. So see how he's building with just that. And we haven't even gotten to the actual board yet. We haven't identified the numbers. Well, I just had him do it, but just allowing them time just to stack with it. So that's one way you can use it, especially for the little ones. Now, if you've gotten past that point, um, I usually start after that, we'll do the one. So the, the main thing is, is you want them to get counting, get to counting one by one before you even start with counting by tens if they're not already there yet. So you can do, again, before you even get to the board, you can, ooh, that kind of looks like a train. Yeah. So if I hold up the number, what number is this? Four. Can you count out four ones blocks for me? Okay. So I've got them. One, two, three, four. Good. So that's one way. That's one part that you can use this um this counting board for. So identifying yeah, numbers. And then let's see. Plus, and uh -oh. So we do simple addition here. So you can do. If I do four, and then what does the sign mean? The plus sign. It's the plus sign. So if I did four. It's the, it's the dinos. Dinos love math. Dinos love math? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four plus, can I do, oh, um, we can do six. Four plus six. Ja, can you count out six? So you've got four here. Can you count out six of those blocks for me? Two, 
Remember, I wanted how many did I want? Six. six. Is that six? No. Four. Okay, so now I have four. Well, I said four plus six, but let's oh, well, I got the number six. See? Nope, I already have the six here. See? See, see? There's a six there, but also this one. So, Ja, what's four plus six? How many do you have all together? Uh, can you count all of them? Six. Plus four. You can use the blocks to count. Uh, How many do you have all together? One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. So you can leave it there, or if you want to start with the board, you can write it here with the blocks. So that would be four. Yeah. And also, plus. You can count all of. You can count them after you do something, but you have to work all the numbers. All the numbers, uh-huh. So you would have four plus six. And then the answer, how much did we say four plus six was, Ja? Four plus six. Equals? Ten. Ten. All right, so now, let's see. Can you make the number ten? Hmm. What numbers do you need? Um, Find them here. You might have to take it from your um, train. Find the number one. Hmm. I can Mm-hmm. Yep. And the Mm-hmm. Okay, so is that one is that ten? There you go. So they're practicing basic addition here, and there is the subtraction one. I don't have it here with me now, but that's also there. So you can write it out that way. Um, so now when you go on to starting to count by tens, I always start with just the ones again. I think that was originally the point that I was getting to. Yeah. And this frame right here is counting by ones. So, Ja, can you put all of the ones blocks in this column here? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to push this to the side. All right. Can you put all of the ones in there? Get it like this. So, when you get this set, you have to be mindful of how you hold it. So, they should stick um, the tall way or else they won't all fit. Can you count out loud for me? One, two. Not that well. <laughs> five. Four. Five. Six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. Keep going. Seven. Mm -hmm. Seven. Sorry. So he's very particular about how they stand, so. I'm just gonna leave him. Eight, seven, eight. Uh -huh. eight. No, that's fine. How you had it? That's the small one. Go ahead. That's hard to do. Nine. Uh huh. Ten. Perfect. So now we get the idea of putting these ones block. N equals how many? Ten. Ten. Now, what's really cool about this board is we see the size, the comparison. So here you have it. So we know that this is the same size. So we can assume. Ten is on. Ja, how much is this one worth? Hmm. It's the same size as this. How much? How many ones is it worth? Uh, um, ten plus ten equals twenty. Yes, so we've been using it for a little while, but yes, he knows that this block is 10. So when we put in the rest of the tens blocks, we build off of that. So and, and, it's, making, and, and it's making two, 10 plus 10, lots of tens equals, equals 100. Eventually. So you don't have to do all of this in one lesson, of course. So just starting here of counting that, 
these blocks together equals 10, that can be one thing. You can find different ways of adding numbers together to get 10. So before you even get to, you even build to counting by 10, starting with these ones blocks, I would say that's a lesson in and of itself. Cause you see how I had him counting and adding, um, and then using the actual value here and writing writing it out. And then if you wanna build on it with, him, with them actually writing, that's a good way to do it too. So now that you're here, you introduce this one, as I said, so he knows that this is worth 10, 10 ones. So, Jaja, can you do me a favor and hold off on using the tens blocks? Can you do me a favor, um, and can you count the tens blocks that you have here? So you've got 10, do the others, please. And so 10, I'm going to pull these out. And 10, 20, then 30, uh -huh. and 40, uh -huh. uh -oh. 50, uh -huh. uh -oh. there you go, uh -huh. and 60, yeah. And then, so it stops with these tens blocks at 90, but we already know that this one, how many ones blocks are in here, Ja? Uh, 10? Yes, 10. So once you put it here, all together, you get how many? All 100! 100. So based off of that, you're already counting by tens. Then you can add in subtraction if you'd like to do that. There's a lot of different ways that you can use this. I love it because it has the visuals and then there's a space where they can do um, the number sentences. Well, the other way. But um, Or you can make choo-choo trains out of it. So from there, you can also start basic multiplication too, to some extent, depending on... Um, uh, what uh, what you're trying to multiply. But I really love this set. I think it's a beautiful, if, if nothing else, um, it is a beautiful uh, table piece because the wood is really nicely made. The How it's um, put together is really nice. Uh, the children, again, they love it. And it's natural wood, it's safe. Um, and it's a great piece where you can take it, put it in your bag, and if you're on the go and you want to do a lesson outside, it's really, it's really good. So they love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ja, do you like this? Oh, you're looking at your train? Uh-huh. Number train. He loves numbers, so uh, this is a perfect person to have. And I love trains. And he loves trains. And I love airplanes. And airplanes. And that's it. All right, well, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is available at playpanafricanwiththek.org. We are doing orders for a limited amount of time um, before the year is out. We might revisit it next year, but for now, we're only doing it a little bit bit um a few at a time so if you want to for sure get yours make sure you visit playpanafrican with the k.org and that way you will reserve yours and airplane. oh that's cool you did make an airplane see there's a lot of different ways he made a little airplane with it um there's a lot of ways to use it so make sure you visit us check us out there's some other items on the site as well hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you all later peace jack can you say peace peace